Second day of protest by the Oilfield Workers Trade Union over the removal of 22 workers from a rig operated by Rowan Drilling Company and over work stoppage the union says was linked to health and safety concerns. It follows a protest in front of BPTT on Monday of which uh, Rowan Drilling is a subcontractor. Janine Brown reports. Members of the Oilfield Workers Trade Union made their way back to BP on Tuesday, this time to deliver a formal letter urging the company to conduct an independent investigation into the health and safety concerns raised on board its subcontractor Rowan's EXL2 rig. After this, they marched over to Rowan Drilling Limited, located on Alexandra Street in St. Clair, where a similar letter was delivered. Following yesterday's protest, both BP and Rowan issued releases stating further inquiries should be directed to Lennox Petroleum Services Limited, under which the employees are directly employed. Labor Relations Officer for the Union, Lyndon Mendoza, says the entire ordeal has left workers feeling disrespected. Yes, workers are very despondent, they are very disappointed in the, in the treatment they will be getting from, from all three players, from Lennox Petroleum, from Rowan and from BP. The workers would have diligently in the past engaged in, um, in the operations and to the benefit of Trinidad and Tobago and the three companies at large. Um, and to have to be treated in this manner over an issue of safety is very disappointed, disappointing and disheartening um, to the workers. Lennox Petroleum Services Limited also responded to yesterday's protest, calling the work stoppage illegal. They also suggested that it was wage motivated. The union is denying both claims. LPSL is, is looking to engage the population in, in red herring discussions. Um, the union would have categorically denied that um, the workers' action had any relation to any wage negotiations. I would have reiterated in the interview this morning that the union, through the collective bargaining process, had the right to serve legal strike notice, a right that we did not exercise in the interest of Trinidad and Tobago because we understand the importance of, of exploration at this point in time. The union says it stands ready to stage more demonstrations in the future if their concerns are not properly addressed. Janine Brown, C News.